This is Inside Heavy. Our guest is Ryan Clark, lead singer from Demon Hunter. The band has a new CD coming out March 9th entitled The World is a Thorn. There's been a lot of changes with the band since the last CD, some key personnel changes, and a tweaked sound. And we've got Ryan Clark to give us the inside track, so don't go anywhere. We're coming right back after this with Ryan from Demon Hunter. Hey, Inside Heavy has got your gear. We have created a shop where you can buy everything you need to display your favorite heavy metal band on your back. What are you looking for? Hats, t-shirts, patches, body jewelry, whatever. We got it in our heavy metal gear shop. Powered by Amazon.com. Check it out. We're back with Ryan Clark from Demon Hunter, right here on Inside Heavy. Ryan Clark from Demon Hunter, welcome back to Inside Heavy. It's a pleasure having you with us. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, first off, right out of starting gate, you got a new CD coming out. However, let's let's take care of a little bit of, of Demon Hunter business here real quick. Your brother Don's gone. What's up with Don? Well, uh, you know, towards the beginning of this year... Um, he just kind of felt like his his priorities were shifting a little bit. He's uh you know he's the, he was the oldest in the band and he has a couple of kids and he also runs his own company. Um, and so that was definitely getting a little bit difficult for him to hit the road and to go in the studio as frequently as we were doing. Even though it's a little infrequent for most bands, it's still um, it takes a lot of work sure. for us, a lot of preparation and things like that. And so he was just uh, you know it was very. Um, you know, it wasn't a, a bad break or anything like that. It was just uh, just simply a, a shift in focus. And, uh, yeah, he, he remains to be a big fan. He, he loves the new stuff, and um, he's kind of cheering us on from the sidelines at this point. Sure. Is this going to seem odd going on without your brother? It has to be a, a big hole in the band, even though I know you got a great player to replace him with. Uh, I would think it would be uh, would feel a little odd. Does it feel feel funny to you? Uh, it's it's definitely different. Um, it might take a little bit of getting used to. You know, we we did do you know we did the record, and so in the studio it was a little different. Uh, writing process was a little bit different, although not entirely. You know, I, I wrote a lot of the stuff on the previous records on my own. Um, so this time it just meant I had to write a little more than usual. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it's a little different. You know, I've been in bands with him even before Demon Hunter, um, so it's been about you know, 15 or so years that we've been in bands together. And so it's definitely, you know, going to take a little bit of getting used to. But, um, you know, regardless, we, we do have like a real family atmosphere with the band. Um, and the guys that are in the band have always been really tight. So uh, these new guys that are in the band, one of them's newer than, than the other, uh, Patrick, mm-hmm. who is um, kind of the lead guitar guy at this point he actually played with us for the latter half of our last tour so we got a chance to know him really well and hang out with him um but the other guy ryan uh, ryan helm he's the newer of the of the bunch and so uh, uh-huh. we're still getting to know him a little bit but um you know, we've had a chance to hang out a little bit and um, get to know each other but yeah it's going well fantastic now the cd's due to come out march 9th i understand uh, give us some insight into the into the CD. I've listened to some of it, uh, and uh, it sounds a tad different, but it sounds fantastic. Uh, uh, give us give us some give us the backstory if there's any to give. I guess on the CD. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's our fifth record, so for us, you know, I feel like uh, if any time. Uh, is kind of the coming into your own time. It, it would have been by now, and, and I really think this record is, um, is kind of a, it's that record. You know, I feel like a couple records ago we really started to find our sound and uh, started to hone what we do. But with this record, I think it's even a more clear picture of that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely stepped up a notch in terms of just uh, tempo and and ferocity. I think it's uh, kind of firing on all cylinders. You know, we definitely we do what we do and, and we don't, you know, we don't 
mistake ourselves for uh, you know a death metal band or, or some band that's trying to outdo you know all these crazy heavy bands because mm-hmm. that's just not us. But for what we do, you know, it's definitely uh, a step into a, a heavier, faster, more aggressive direction. Mm-hmm. And so uh, you'll hear a lot of that on this record. A lot more thrash riffs. Um, the guitar solos are a little more. <clears throat> Uh, fast and wailing and um, double kick is kind of cranked up a notch. Mm-hmm. So all the all the elements that kind of make up a, a metal record, I, I think we really pushed on this, you know. But there's a, there's still a couple of slow songs, a couple of ballads, which are, have kind of become a tradition for us at this point, and it's something that we you know we like to do and maintain. So I mean, there's there's ups and downs, peaks and valleys, but I would say the heavy stuff is definitely um, about as heavy as it's ever been.